So what are those structures actually? The first thing you might have noticed is the vein, the superficial vein, very visible in front. I mentioned phlebotomy, which is basically the art and study of the vena puncture, extracting blood from uh, veins as well as injecting blood into the veins and the the arteries as well. So this vein you see in front of you is the most common vein that we use for uh, vena puncture and that is the median cubital vein. This is the typical present uh, occurrence. There are variations. Sometimes it's a bit vertical and sometimes it comes from a, a little more proximally and more distally. But commonly, this is the how the configuration appears. And the two veins on its side include the cephalic vein, which runs from your thumb side. We'll start from the bottom, actually. Here we go. You can see how the cephalic vein is starting from the thumb side and goes all the way up to the lateral aspect. It will join the subclavian vein at the top which is not visible over here. On the other hand, on the medial side you have the basilic vein. The basilic vein will go on the medial side as it goes up, it forms part of the brachial vein on top, right over here. So these two, basilic and cephalic, have this sort of anastomosis between them and this is where the vein puncture is done. 